Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to a FIFA 21 trading from scratch video. Today, we have got episode one in this series. So if you guys want to get a head start on Ultimate Team and pick up some coins, then make sure to go ahead and check out my sponsor, U7 Buy. Link in the description. Incredibly cheap and reliable. And of course, when you do use the code Penguin, you get yourself discounts. Now, of course, if you guys do enjoy, make sure to smash the like button, save kind of 500 likes and do subscribe if you want you. Essentially, what I do in this series is just try to trade to as many coins as possible throughout FIFA 21. As you can see, starting off with only 500 coins in the club. Hopefully, by the end of this episode, I'll have at least like 25k. So maybe if you guys are just starting off, you might want to replicate the ways that I make coins in this video. It's a very good way for you guys to follow along, essentially as like a tutorial on how to trade with only 500 coins. Right then guys, so after doing quite a bit of research to be fair, we have finally found a card that is non-rare and available for around 500 coins. So Max Mayer does in fact have a min buy now of 350 coins, so potentially will go on the market for that price. However, he's worth between like 850 to 1k, so if we do pick him up at around 500 coins and below, making some pretty decent coins. Unfortunately, a lot of non-rares have got scuffed price ranges this year, so it's been pretty difficult to actually find a card that we can trade with, who sells for like a decent amount as well. So with a budget of 500 coins, Max May is definitely going to be our best option to start trading. Okay, both of those cards went up basically simultaneously. Even though we missed out on the first item, which was 500 coins, we actually got a cheaper one at 400. When I sell this card for around 850 coins for an instant turnaround, we're going to have close to 1,000 coins, right? So already just from getting one trade, I'm able to change trading filters and go onto one where you can see like more opportunities. So I can go onto one where we can see rare gold cards now because I've actually got the funds to be able to try and buy those cards. So even though Max Mayer it was like short but sweet it has enabled us to change and um, get enough profit to begin hopefully trying to snipe some better filters. So then guys as you can see our Max Mayer card finally sold for 850 coins and as a result we've now got 908 coins to trade with. So Due to that, I'm going to change trading filter to one which is going to show more potential cards to snipe. On this filter that I've got set up, we're going to do gold rares, French nationality in the Premier League, and these are roughly around 1,000 coins. Do call right at this Gwendouzi is a real good trade. Unfortunately, I don't have the coins to buy him right now, as I've only got 900 available. But I think that Gwendouzi is selling for quite a lot, as he's linked with a move away from... Arsenal and also his stats are pretty good as well for a starter squad player but under this filter there's multiple different cards that we can see so let's have a go and try and get some players. Right then guys we've managed to get ourselves an incredible trade here on Gwen Doozy for only 750 coins. Obviously due to the fact that I've not got enough coins remaining to trade I will have to try and flip this card fast in order to carry on taking advantage of this filter. But for 750 coins, I really do think that that's a very good deal. Um, his min is 700, so that's almost the min price for this item. What I'm going to do real quick is go ahead and check the market to see how much he actually sells for. I know this is a card well in excess of 1k. So then guys, it looks like I'm going to be able to get around 1,300 coins for Gwen Doozy. Obviously, a couple of them up for 100 coins below that, but these items have only been in the market for basically two minutes. So, I think if I list up for 1.3k, take the extra 100 coin profit, um, it'll only take a couple of minutes to sell anyway. And obviously, at this stage, we need to make as many coins as possible. So, getting that item at 750 is a real nice trade. Guys, go ahead and get ourselves a Ducor rate right, at 800 coins. Unfortunately, I do think that this is the cheapest item on this filter at roughly around 1k. So, after tax, we're only looking at about like 150 coins. But profit is profit at this stage. Tell you what, boys, there's quite a few of them listed up here as well. So, it's actually going to take a little while to sell, unfortunately. 
Nonetheless, though, boys, we'll have to bear it out and just wait for the item to, in fact, sell. Because at the end of the day, we want to be capitalising on the most amount of profit possible from this filter. Alright, guys, do go ahead and get back Ayoko this time round. That's the first one that we have seen of this variant on this filter. So, at 700 coins, he's actually one of the cheaper cards that we've actually sniped. So, with that being said, this is going to be a great trade. What I do need to do is check his price. I think that's probably min price, actually, isn't it, as well? Getting it at only 700 coins. It is. That will be his min price. I reckon this card's probably about 1.3k, so roughly. Um, only paid about 50% of his value in this trade. Right then guys, to kick things off today, on trading from scratch, we're going to be checking out some gold rare Brazilians from the Ukraine League. There is multiple cards that you can see on this filter. Um, Tyson and the left back is Melee. So, around 3,000 coins for these cards, probably going to try and pick them up at 2.3k to make a decent amount of profits. Oh my days, we finally go ahead and get a card. Boys, it's been a long time in the making. It's just so competitive. It really is. It's crazy. We get Ismaili. Like I mentioned, he sells for around 3,000 coins. So basically, 1k after tax on this trade. Finally, boys, it's nice to get a successful snipe. It really is. Making moves, starting to make some profits on trading from scratch. We just need to get up to around 5,000 coins. Then we'll unlock a load more filters. Okay, guys, we did go ahead and get ourselves another Ismaili. 2.1k this time round, so not too cheap to be fair. Do you know what, though, lads? I do have a feeling that this left back might be going up in price a little bit. I sold the previous one at 3,000 coins. It was basically an instant sale. So what I'll do is check out the left back and see if he's maybe like 3.3k right now. Unfortunately, lads, he's basically just 3,000 coins. So both cards are identical price. Um, again, though, we'll just list them up for 3k. Hopefully make a quick turn around. What a trade that is at 1.2k for Tyson. The first one that we have seen. Nice. That's in reference to the left midfielder instead of the left back that we are previously sniping. But still at 1.2k, this is definitely our best trade so far on this filter. Nice, boys. Finally. Starting to hit some luck right now in a good groove. I am still missing a lot of cards, by the way, boys. I'd be on 100k right now if I was able to snipe all of the opportunities that we saw. I'm probably only getting about one in every 10. But fortunately, this one actually turned out to be a very nice trade. Right then, guys, the final filter that we're going to actually explore today is going to be one that I've actually talked about in a previous video, right? But I've not tried it yet on the PlayStation. Probably going to be super competitive once again. But nonetheless, that filter is gold rare centre-backs from Atletico Madrid. They're selling right now for about 4.3 thousand coins. There's three different items you can see. Felipe, Jimenez and also Hermoso. Let's give it a go. Nice, guys. So as you can see, we get ourselves a Felipe this time round. So as we know, this card sells for about 4.3k. It is, in fact, the first trade that we've got successfully on this filter. I've missed quite a few as well, lads, but... As I've mentioned multiple times in this video already, right, the PlayStation is super competitive, so it's tough. Um, you're not going to be as successful on this console as you might be maybe on the Xbox or potentially PC as well. The thing is, though, you do get a lot more opportunities and some really nice ones as well. For example, this Felipe right here that we're going to make some good coins from. Just goes to show as well another filter that is actually pretty good to trade with on a budget. Come on. Oh, nice. A Jimenez for only 3,000 coins this time round. I think this card as well is worth a little bit more than Felipe's. This is technically a better deal on the previous trade. Both of them being 84 rated. That's a very nice snipe. So guys, as you can see, you can actually make some pretty nice coins from trying to get these Atletico Madrid players. If you get Hermoso, you're making bank. Even though he's the lowest rated at 80 overall. He's technically the most desirable because of his stats and stuff like that. So he sells for like 10,000 coins. Be an insane trade to get him on this filter. But it is possible. I've done it on the Xbox. So then lads, for this card, he's actually a considerable amount more than Felipe. 
um, who we sold, I do believe, at 4,300 coins. This one isn't even available at 4.7k. So, I'll probably lift them up at 4.8, get a quick turnaround, and it's going to be some really nice profits. Right, anyway, guys, as you can see, after all of our transfers have sold that we've got so far on this trading from scratch account, we're well above 10,000 coins now. After starting off with only 500. So if you guys replicate the filters that I've showed you in today's video, you guys can also well be on your way to making millions on Ultimate Team without spending any FIFA points. Unfortunately though, it does bring us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy, smash the like button, let's see if you can hit 500 likes and do subscribe if you are new. Other than that though guys, hopefully you enjoyed episode 1 of Trading From Scratch and hopefully I will see you next time.